Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, solve 169q squared, and it's equal to a 49. We want to solve this by factoring. So to do so, I want to get a whole equation equal to zero. I'm going to subtract a 49 to both sides, and I'm left with 169q squared minus a 49 equal a zero. Now when I first look at this, it's like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Can I pull something out of both equations? But at first, I then look at 49. 49 is 7 squared. The bells in my head are ringing here, and I'm remembering some properties that maybe we have learned, that if I can find the square of the first one, I might be able to do a difference of squares. Now 169 is a 13 squared, if you have that memorized, and Q squared is Q squared. So I have 13 Q all squared, that gives me 169 Q squared. 7 squared is a 49, and now I have my difference of squares here. Two different squares, and we're finding the difference, right, of them. That property tells us we can take each one of these. We call them A and B. So we apply the difference of squares here. I would have A, well, 13Q minus a 7. A minus a B times a 13Q plus a 7 equals a zero. And I can separate that out using the difference of squares property. Now, from here, I want to solve each one. So we're using the zero product property here. I'm going to set each parenthesis equal to zero. 13q minus a 7 equals zero, and 13q plus a 7 equals a zero. Now, don't be afraid of fractions here, okay? We're going to add a 7 to both sides. And don't feel feel like you need to write as a decimal. 13q equals a positive, well, 7. From there, divide 13 to both sides. And q equals a 7 thirteenths. Nothing wrong with keeping it like that. The second equation, same idea. We subtract a 7 to both sides. And we're left with a 13q equals a negative 7. From there, divide it by a 13. And Q is also equal to a negative 7 over a 13. So we have two solutions for a quadratic, which is fairly common. And for our equation here, we have 169Q squared equals 49. Our two solutions we came out to by factoring as Q is equal to 7 thirteenths and a negative 7 thirteenths. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.